Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rickering Specialist at Autodesk. Just want to show how we can use the color jitter shader to, to drive the input of the switch shader to get uh, random texture maps for these different marbles here. Okay, so let's start from scratch. Just create an open PBR surface shader. Call that marbles. And then assign that to all of the marble objects. Then we'll create the switch shader. Let's connect the out color to the base color of the open group of the surface. And let's create a color jitter shader. Connect the out color to the index of the switch. So now we need to create some image shaders and assign them to the different inputs of the switch shader. So I've got a texture up here, zero one. Can be a color to input uh, one. Let's move this up here, some more space. Okay, let's duplicate that so image two. Which can change the path to zero two, and then our color. input 2 again input 3 change the path 3 texture and do the same color to input 3 okay so I've connected all the image shaders to the switch shader here uh, I've got 14 input texture maps. So now we just go to the jitter shader and make sure the type is set to object. And now when we increase the gain max, you should see color jitter shader is randomly changing the inputs of the switch shader to give us more texture maps. If we wanted just the same texture map, say image six, we could just type six in both of those. Just change that. Uh, Accordingly. If we go above 50, 14, we'll start to get black because there's no, we don't really have 14 images. Let's just bear that in mind. Also, if you go to negative values, you'll also get black. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.